Hello, fellow Daz Studio enthusiasts. This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you again to another tutorial on Daz Studio. Now, today, I thought I would take one of the shorts that I had made a while back and kind of expand on it and talk a little bit more about how to pose multi-boned objects. So my shorts just didn't really take off and I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm no social influencer. So my shorts were just kind of a fun way to show really quick tips. And I've kind of abandoned that idea, but um, I'm taking what I created with the shorts and I'm making longer tutorials with them. So this will be my first attempt at talking a little bit more about posing objects like chains and ropes and tentacles and creatures that have multiple bones and multiple segments. Now, before we get into a lot of this, and uh, this is gonna be a, a pretty short video, I think, but can become very helpful for you. The first thing I wanna talk about is there are different kinds of props. And so, uh, for example, I've got a rope here, I have a chain, I've got this kind of mechanical thing. I've got a creature called the slag, it's kind of a tentacle. And then I have this other tentacle that um, kind of has a light on the end of it. We're keeping this PG rated for Milica. She's kind of shy and doesn't want to get uh, too freaked out about stuff. But some of these props are going to have what's called easy pose. And the best example of this is going to be this tentacle. And so if I click on the entire tentacle, um, I can rotate it and things like that. But it has what's called easy pose. So if you select one of these segments, like right here, and then you go to your parameters tab, you're gonna see where it has this easy pose on this segment. And this comes in really handy if your prop has this. So it says twist aft, side to side aft, bend aft. So you can take this and bend it. Now you can notice also that I have this backwards. So it's bending the area below. So if I want this thing coming out of the ground, I might have to completely reverse it. And now I can bend it. So you can see it's it's kind of bending in a natural way, all right? So this easy pose is kind of taking all these segments and bending them together. So you can go side to side, or you can go um, front to back. You can twist things. So that's kind of cool, they, they twist up. And then you can bend them. So you can make a whole kind of sci-fi scene this way. Now, if you notice this tentacle has a mouth on the other side or the other end. And so I want to um, show you that here. Oops. Oh, there it is. So if you want to pose this, like let's say you want this attacking Milica you're gonna have to um, take the the head here that has the mouth, and uh, you're gonna have to position it where you want the head to be. So I'm gonna click on the whole thing, and um, we're just gonna kinda tilt it. Just a quick pose here. Remember, posing takes up most of your time. So we're going to just kind of move this into position here. Maybe it's kind of about right there. And so if I want this tentacle, maybe we want its mouth open so I can believe there's a morphia to open its mouth, which is kind of cool. So I'm opening its mouth. 
And if I want that tentacle to be going down to the ground, well, then I can just select a segment, go to easy pose, and then bend it. In this case, it's gonna be bend aft. So I can bend it down so it looks like it's going onto the ground. So easy pose, no big deal if your props have easy pose. Now the thing is, is most objects are not gonna have easy pose. So that slag worm uh, had easy pose, but we do have a lot of other props that you're gonna wanna pose and they don't have easy pose. And the way that we can pose these guys is by selecting the segments we want to move and then kind of moving them as a group. So for example, if I take this rope, I'm just gonna click on one part of the rope. You can see, um, let's kind of click here. So we have, this is segment five, and then up here is segment 11. See, I can select by holding down my shift key, I can select a series of that rope. So I just selected like seven of the segments. And then I can come over here to my rotate sphere and I can bend things to match where I want it to go. So this takes a little bit of practice, but you can see how I am bending it a lot like I was bending that tentacle. And so in this case, again, you know, it's um, upside down. So if I wanted to bend this so it was like bending towards Milica, I'm gonna have to take it and flip it around. But we can bend different segments of this. So again, see I'm bending it the wrong way so I can flip it around, raise it up. And see now if I select this, so you can see I have segment uh, 52, then I can hold down my shift key, let's go to segment 40. Now I can go up here to my little pose wheel and I can pose it and make that rope move. So pretty cool how I can do this. The chain is another good example here. So I, you know, trying to pose a chain one link at a time is just hideous. But if I select a certain amount of segments, so I'm gonna select from let's say segment 60 here. I'm gonna have to scroll over. It's another thing that's pretty annoying about Daz Studio is when you select a segment that's way down the list, you know, to um, see it or to make it invisible, you have to keep scrolling your parameters because it makes this, no pun intended, chain of segments that are going down and to the right. So you have to scroll over, find your segment, and then see, I can hit the shift tab. I can go up to segment 45, see how it highlights all of those things. And then I can easily pose this. So it's pretty cool. Now you gotta be careful to see how it's going every which direction. So you're just gonna have to kind of practice with this, but you can get it so it looks very natural, very real, very natural kind of a bend to this chain. All right, uh, same with this segment here. Now this has, I believe, see it has morphs that are those easy poses. So see here I can still bend says bend aft. I've noticed uh, that some of our props will not work. And I put this one up here just to show you that it has those morphs that say it should be able to bend. But as you can see, I'm playing with it and nothing happens. So you may come across a uh, prop that claims that it has morphs, but then it doesn't bend. So what I'm gonna have to do, kind of the same thing is I'm gonna have to select a certain amount of segments and see now I can move it. Pretty cool. It just takes a little bit of time and practice to get it where you want it, but it, it sure makes for a lot more realistic kind of posing. Posing is probably the, the trickiest thing in Daz Studio. You know, it's um, one of those things that kind of makes or breaks your scene. 
So you want to try and make it as realistic as possible if you can. So just one more time, this little tentacle here. See, again, this tentacle, I believe, is going to be backwards. So when I pose it, see, it's posing below, which I don't like. Um, you know, I just moved the bottom part of this tentacle. So it, I want to move, you know, this light source close to Milica. So it looks like, you know, the tentacle's looking at her or it's about to grab her. And so the tricky part with a lot of these props is that when you do select different parts, it is going to bend and rotate them backwards. What's cool about this tentacle is it has both. So it kind of has a head area and then it has a tail. And there's one segment that's going to be kind of in between them. And uh, that is kind of a cool little feature that a lot of your tentacles and other kind of creatures might have is they have kind of a head and a tail. So if I keep moving down far enough, I'm going to get to the tail part. Okay, so I think this is a kind of a cool little trick that saves you a boatload of time if you are trying to get something like this chain posed. So let's just set up a quick scene because, well, Milica is in an adventure. And so she is in a dungeon. She's kind of got Princess Leia's dungeon costume going on. She's sporting that today. So we're going to put her in a dungeon. I've bent our chain and uh, let's just pose her and we'll run a render. Okay, so it took a few minutes to set this up, but um, I'm ready to do a render here just for fun. Poor Milica. Don't worry. She'll be okay. You know, she's the heroine. She's always coming out on top. So I want to thank everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and please leave a comment. Hopefully this simple little trick taught you something. And if you have any questions, let me know. I love to uh, receive and respond to comments. So until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.